Hi, this is a movie from Eric Dubois. We are working on a Linux Mint system and we have quickly a screen fetch for all the people who are going to post mails uh, of, of comments afterwards. So we're working on a Linux Mint 17.1 13.3.19 kernel and we have Cinnamon installed Numix Daily or this icon theme revisited. That's the reason why we're making this movie. There are people who are using the artist icon theme. This is my website ericdubois.be if you have interest in Linux and Linux Mint and i3 in Linux Mint and the ultimate Linux Mint update no. you look at that. Now we have here a question from a user, a Google Plus user who says Look, you have um, made some new icons for the artist icon theme. How do I install them, uninstall them? Questions like that. So I thought, let's make a movie. Well, actually, everything stands or falls with how the programmer makes the link to his icon. So take a look at this site. Fog along, GitHub, hard code fixer. It explains a bit why some of the icons do not change with your theme so like this one it doesn't change with my theme it's very visual it's not a circle it not it's not a white border it is not changed why this one is a, a, a try to fix it why a scrap uh, so, sorry a script <laughs> fix dot shell is a script which is going to look for all the kinds of applications that are on your computer this is the list that's going to be fixed it's um, an excel sheet actually but not a really excel sheet it's a csv i believe S voila csv to fix so if you go into that you see all the application that it's going to try and this is what I mean with hard-coded links so it's not Electrum for instance this one it's not Electrum no it's slash user slash share etc etc which means it's always gonna be this one what whatever team you're using it's gonna be this one so first off that's why icons in a theme are not working because the programmer is using a hard and a hard link, a hard code link to an icon, being it a PNG, being it an SVG. So they should more follow the GNOME org or the standards free desk org kind of yeah explanations. So these are two links which are very interesting to take a look at it. But in this movie, I would like to install with you, together with you, this um, um, GitHub that we are seeing here. Well, where is here? Artist icon theme revisited. First off, I'm just a uh, Linux fanatic and I'm not a professional icon builder or anything. But I saw this artist icon theme and Coltis work is the owner from these icon set and he says look here I have other things to do and I said okay well it's it's quite a nice um, icon set but I'm missing some of the icons so let's make it a Inkscape exercise because SVG is the extension for Inkscape and let's edit it and let's have some fun editing some icons so that's how it started and let's now install this sudo apt-get install control alt t in linux mint very interesting and then you had your terminal you copy paste this code here in in your terminal so copy paste enter install it's already installed so it's going to say installed and then this is very nice very neat everything that's on git you can either just download it by a zip file but I really like this one git clone oops git clone and then you're going to get this one here which is a copy of all this and you say to the machine 
git clone paste enter so it's going to get everything on the website and it's going to put it in a little nice little folder let's have a look where it is that is gone and here it is it's now downloaded on my own hard disk and it has named it in a folder artist icon theme revisited where should this theme go either like it said here you put it in the specific folder where actually everything is put if you do sudo apt get install and then your theme eh, or your icons eh, icon theme it's going to be put normally in this specific folder which we quickly navigate to user share and then icons is more or less in the middle icons I'm missing it yep here it is so all the icons go in here problem of being in here is when you right click properties you see that you're not the boss of this map your root your not actually owner you don't have permissions so if you want to avoid all that and say look I want to edit it I want to play around with it then we go to the home folder you do control H you forget if you forget what the control H is or a shortcut it was show the hidden files and here you have the icons and let's put uninstalling quite easy delete voila the former folder is gone and the folder I just downloaded downloaded and look all my icons are going to change since I was using the theme I just deleted the theme so my icons are going to change so I do a cut here this is the one I just downloaded Control H this is the one I just downloaded cut Control H put it in your icons nothing is there paste and the icons will change again so the Arcus artist icon theme revisited look they're changing has been applied now why is it applied because in Linux Mint we have the ability and in all other distributions as well to change in some way and uh, some manner each distribution has a different way to change it and here is my artist icon theme revisited now let's attack of let, let's tackle the problem with this icon here for instance everything has been is in order here but this I've changed this personally I've changed this personally and lots of others probably as well but let's tackle the things that are not going to look nice first off on the website there is this tip which I always do if you want all icons to be circles everywhere then delete or rename the folder small I really like artist icon theme better if this is not there so small underscore backup I don't want to get rid of it but just check out what I mean and you're going to see everything is going to be in circles now which that's my personal you know, preference now let's take all applications go down you see this one is not correct let's go one I have I did change this one for instance and others as well so if you have more items that are not correct that's normal because I've been working on this computer so I'm going to show you what you should do to change all that image magic is not good so how can we change the rest of the icons like this one how can we change these icons to be in line with the theme? Being it an artist theme or another theme, it doesn't matter. Eh? How can you change it? And that's why I put in the first um, explanation here this uh, guy there with uh, uh, fix, fix, fix the hard code. Here, here it was, here it was. Yeah. The Fogalong hard code fixer because that's a program that's going to use it going to use it, do it for you but problem is it doesn't fix the um, Linux Mint codes it fixes Python I think two Pythons and, and that's it 
So, not yet. So if um, if you want to see, I have filed three things to do for Mint: the Python, the backup tool, and the driver manager. If you could do that for us and put it in the script, it would be great. But until that's done, we should do it ourselves. So let's have a look and let's change the the look of these uh, icons here. For instance, this one. Where can we find this information? We go to the user, we go to the share, and all what we see are applications. So this thing, this folder, should be actually bookmarked. So at bookmark, since this folder is the one you have to come back to, like backup tool, it's not the right icon. Let's scroll down. No. Uh, well, this is not so important because it doesn't show in menus any anything. Well, not not often anyway. Image magic, for instance, not good. Mm -hmm. Privacy doesn't show in menus, I think. Of course, you should put your energy in things that you see, like for instance this one, the update manager. Well, let's tackle that one. It doesn't matter which one we take first. It's always the same procedure. This is my workflow. You go to the user share applications, right click, open with Sublime Text. If you don't have Sublime Text, what do you do? Simple tap sudo apt-get install Sublime Text. Enter, install it. Okay. Then you have right mouse click, open with Sublime Text. What do we see here? That actually a program is just a bunch of letters, a bunch of text. So, what's the name of the program? What's the name in, I don't know what language this is, but it's another language. <laughs> and all these languages are not important. What is important? Control Find, Control F, Icon. And that's what I mean with hard coded links. Whatever team you're using, it's going to be always this one. So, let's get rid of it, that. And I think I recalled it in my theme so I choose my name the name personally mint update but if in doubt and we are in doubt we go to artist icon theme scalable apps control find mint enter it's going to call mint update and I did do I, di I did leave the U in capital you know Linux mint or Linux in general it's sensitive, capital or small letter is important, so mint update, that's the way I should leave it, like this. Remember, dot .png, dot .svg, not needed. It's going to take the first one he finds in a, an, 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 a how do you say that, um, the procedure is looking first in the icons and then looking in other maps as well later on it's it's a real procedure it's all described on the internet and uh, one of these sites i can name specifying or was it here voila you can read all about this first it's going to look here then it's going to look there and it's going to look there and eventually it's already also looking here and uh, things like that so read it at the free desktop.org main thing is you need to have something in your folder calling mint update if you don't have anything there, it's not gonna work. So, mint update. Control save. It says, look, that's root. If you wanna save it, you should know the password for root. And luckily, I do. So, okay. What did change here? My icon. So the icon has changed. This hardcore link, which we cannot do much about. Eh? It's more a problem of the programmers, in this case Linux Mint, who should change the naming. I should not hard code it, but just name it Mint Update and then let it point to the maps that are explained here and the, the website here. And then uh, everything should work fine, but it's not. So we have to edit ourselves. Okay. Maybe one more, just to be on the safe side. So, like you see, this has been changed now. And mm, mm, mm. 
um, right, not important. Image magic, let's have a quick look. Open map, supply and text, control find, icon or display IMS. You see? So it's pointed to something called an extension IM6. Who knows? Okay, so we're going to look in my icon team. Image will be enough probably. And what do we have here? You have a choice. You can use this one or that one. This is more in line with the artist team. And this is more colorful one. Uh, I thought a wizard's hat would be nice. So image magic if you want a normal look. The only thing we should do, and that's the only thing, it's that easy. Icon, image, magic. Done. Save. What's the password for root? Okay. It's saved. Let's have a look. What's going to change? The look on this one. Image magic has changed in the menus everywhere uh, like this one here everything changes since you changed user share applications this is a dot desktop if you didn't notice that let's quickly edit this one look at the name here behind dot desktop you see so everything should point to something so control find we have something open here Kazam. Kazam is does exist. It's an icon in the theme. Kazam. So we're going to look at this one. If you don't like the pink, what do you do? Open and you do Inkscape. And you say, hmm, I don't like the pink, and I'm going to make it brown, or I'm going to make it redder, or or pinker, <laughs> or green, whatever. That's what I like about this SVG SVG format you can re-edit it and say I'd rather have it this way or rather have it that way whatever be creative use the knowledge and show me some great themes and icons bye for now guys